Hi everyone, um, today I wanted to make a video about variations of planks. Plank is a very great exercise to not only strengthen your core, but to give you that more of a defined look in your abs. Um, as you know in my workout videos, I do not add a lot of uh, uh, crunches, I don't do any crunches, I don't do any of those types of exercise because they flex your spine and over time they damage your spine. So the best exercises for the abs are planks. And um, what I really like to do if you want to get more of a defined look in your abs, um, you can do two or three minutes of different plank variations before and after each and every single workout. Um, you're already using your abs in every single exercise that you do, but if you add that extra planks before and after the workout, you'll get more of a defined look in your abs. I'm pretty much going to go over um, a whole bunch of different plank variations. I have a whole list in here from the beginner to the advanced. And as I said, you can just add, uh, let's say, uh, three rounds of one minute each, or you could add a little bit of a time as you get more progress that these planks uh, right before and after the workout and within a few weeks you're going to notice this huge difference in definition in your abs. So um, another thing that I wanted to add, um, if you're a beginner, the first thing that you should do is do planks. Do planks to strengthen your core. It's going to take your fitness uh, to a whole new level because our core is pretty much very important to, uh, to keep your overall body condition in a really great form. Um, so let me just start by showing the beginners what beginners can do to strengthen their core. Um, so before and every one of single one of your workouts, do three rounds of a regular plank. You already know what a regular plank looks like. So if you're a beginner, you're going to start in a regular plank position. You're going to make sure you place the tension onto your abs. As you get a little bit more advanced, and this position will be much easier for you to hold, what you're going to do is you're going to place your uh, hands, your elbows, a little bit more further away from your body. The further you place your uh, elbows away from your body, the, the greater uh, you're going to have the greater tension in your abs. Um, this eventually will be very, very easy to hold. So what you're going to do next, after progressing from the elbows further, you are going to place your feet onto the elevated surface. You can use a chair, you can use whatever, I don't know, little cabinet you have in your house. Um, this, is, this is for beginners. I'm explaining these things for beginners. I'm going to get into a much advanced variations of blank in a minute. Blank. So, you're going to place your feet onto an elevated surface. This is once this exercise of just a regular plank will be very easy to do. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hold a plank position like this. As this position gets a lot easier to hold, you're going to place your elbows further. The more further you place your elbows, the greater tension you'll have in your abs. So hold these positions. Uh, two or three times before and after every single one of your workouts. Um, as all of these progressions will get easier, the third choice for you to do is to place your feet against the wall. If you place your feet against the wall, this is going to give you a really, it's going to be a much more intensified uh, plank. It's going to be a lot harder to hold this for, let's say, three rounds, one minute each. So you're going to place your feet against the wall and you're gonna hold this plank. The lower your feet, the tougher to hold. The higher it is, the easier it is to hold. And as with regular plank, placing your elbows forward will give you a much greater tension. Now, as you get more advanced, and as you're not a beginner anymore, you're gonna be able to hold all of these three variations of planks, just a regular hold. If you're able to hold this for three rounds of, let's say, one minute each, it's time for you to progress to a different plank. It's time for you to add movement to the plank. So, as you get more advanced, you're going to start adding march. You're going to get into the plank and you're going to add march. 
marching plank. Then as you get more advanced, place your elbows more forward and you also add in march. Another great uh, thing to add to these planks, also with your elbows right here and your elbows further together, is jumps. You're gonna, add, you're gonna have jumping planks such as this. Make sure you don't have a chair. <laughs> You're gonna add jumping planks. After the jumping variations of planks, you can add scissor planks. Also, by placing your, uh, your elbows away, uh, away from your body, it will create a much bigger tension uh, in your abs. Another great plank variation is a reptile plank. To make this exercise even more uh, advanced, you're going to st uh, straighten your legs and you're going to do uh, also this plank but with the legs straight. And by placing the elbows forward like this, every single one of these planks will be much tougher to perform. Now there is also a side plank. Um, side plank I would only recommend to do for guys because for girls to do side planks we're gonna, it's going to create a wider waist. So if you want to keep your waist slim but still get a great definition in your abs, do regular planks, don't do side planks. If you're a guy then side planks are definitely something that you can get more definition in the side of your abs and your obliques. So regular side plank. A much more tougher uh, plank variation would be a scissor plank. Now, if you want to intensify this exercise, you can place your feet on the elevated surface and do the same thing on an elevated surface. This will create a lot more tension in your abs. And you can also do scissors scissor planks on every single one of your sides. But like I said, if you're a girl, you don't want to do side planks. You don't want to do any type of tension that's going to constantly place tension on the side of your abs or you're going to have a wide waist. Um, now, another great plank variation is doing a plank on a non-bouncy or a more of a bouncy medicine ball. Whenever you use something to balance on, this is going to create a great tension in your lower abs. So, another great plank variation is using a little ball like this and do a plank on the ball. To add something extra to this, you can even do uh, like a little reptile while balancing on the ball. So this is going to create even more challenge. You can also place your elbows forward as always, as I've been telling you to create even a greater challenge in your abs. You can also use a balance ball to add that extra, extra. This is going to be much tougher to hold a plank on a balance ball. Now, um, in my video yesterday, I was also showing another great plank variation. In my previous couple of videos, another great plank variation will be uh, doing a plank jump and combining a plank jump with a reptile, so, so it would look like this. Or another great plank variation, like I said, for as you, when you are more advanced, you need to add movement in your planks, and this is going to get you great abs. So uh, this will be a plank kicks and they will look like this. You could even add, you can go even as far as adding these types of kicks as a, in a reptile, something like... So, this is another great plank variation. Um, another plank variation you can try is uh, also keeping your uh, keeping your legs, moving your legs around. So this is another great variation that I'm going to show you. Uh, 
Um, the next variation, you can pretty much do the same thing, but you can just move them one at a time. Hold it right here, hold it right here, hold it right here, and hold it right here. Uh, okay, another, also another great variation is doing marching planks off the chair, marching planks off the wall. So you're gonna get onto the chair, and you're going to march in a plank off the chair. Also do reptiles off the chair. So this is another great plank variation. Uh, and let's see, what else do we have here? So pretty much intensify your plank position by adding movement, by strengthening, uh, straightening out your legs, by placing your feet on an elevated surface, by moving your elbows away from your body, and by also placing your feet against the wall. So these are all gonna give you this great definition in your abs. The more definition you want in your abs, um, uh, try adding more time to your plank holds. For example, you can add two minutes, hold your planks for two minutes, but do the advanced planks. Once the planks get easier for you to hold before and, every single, uh, and after the workouts, that means it's time for you to upgrade the intensity. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write to me. Stop by my blog, lovingfit.com. I have um, great free workout routines and recipes and all kinds of fun stuff. So, for now, this is it. And I will see you in lovingfit.com. Здравствуйте, мои дорогие подписчики! Um, как вы уже видели в моем uh, английском видео, что я показывала варианты планок. Планки – это самое отличное упражнение, придать именно тонус для вашего живота и утончить вашу талию. И сейчас просто я хочу немножко вам объяснить про это видео. То есть, если вы хотите uh, укрепить ваш кор, это очень важно, вы всегда должны начинать вашу тренировку и заканчивать вашу тренировку как минимум три раунда в планок. То есть сначала, если вы начинающий, то вы просто держите обыкновенную планку три раза по одной минуте до и после а, вашей тренировки. То есть как только вы уже начинаете привыкать к этой планке, то значит вам нужно уже придавать более интенсивный подход. Например, ставить ноги на стул, а, возле стены, делать прыжки в планке или делать всякие движения ног. То есть, если вы уже занимаетесь спортом достаточно долго, то в варианты ваших планок должны входить в какое-то движение. Если вы совсем начинающий, то вы должны просто держать планку до и после тренировки. То есть, вот это видео, которое я показывала, пересмотрите его. Вы, наверное, не поймете, там кто-то поймет из вас английский язык, кто-то нет. Но вы просто можете посмотреть на те варианты планок, которые я показываю. И обязательно включайте планки в ваши тренировки. И именно это придаст вам этот тонус, который вы хотите, про который меня все спрашивают. И это вам даст огромные результаты. Так, а потом что хотела еще добавить. Если, а, например, а я еще показывала вариант планок, а, боковые планки. Если вы девушка, а, то я не рекомендую вам делать боковые планки, особенно по минуте. Если они там быстрые, то это укреп, просто укреплят ваши облики. Но если планки, например, долгие, то это просто расширит вашу талию. Так что если вы девушка, не делайте боковых планок. А все остальные планки я вам так и рекомендую. Если у вас есть какие-нибудь вопросы, пишите мне, я, конечно же, на все отвечу. И на сейчас это все. И я еще потом буду делать видео про все ваши запросы, которые вы мне пишете. И все. Вроде все, все что хотел сказать, уже сказал. В общем, ну все. Пока.